Nick Carlton used to smoke cigarettes. He tried quitting, but nothing seemed to kill his cravings. I did try gum a few times, patches a few times. Uh, all of it just made me want to sig more. Now he still smokes, just not cigarettes. Carlton has owned his e-cig for over two years. He sees e-cigs as the new frontier for helping smokers quit. In terms of value, I think it's tremendously value. I, I, I think it is the future of smoking cessation. But Carlton's e-cig use could soon become restricted. Senior public health educator at the Orange County Health Department, Kobe Jansen yeah. Austin, explains yeah. a proposed bill that would prohibit I mean, e-cig use in certain areas. The Board of Health for Orange County is considering a rule that would prohibit the use of electronic cigarettes in enclosed areas of restaurants and bars in Orange County. Austin said e-cigs affect more than just the user. Short-term side effects include increased airway resistance and cough, yet long-term side effects are still unknown. The main worry from the health department isn't the user, but rather those around users. So the, the purpose of this proposed rule is to protect people from the secondhand exposure to that aerosol. Um, it has no bearing on whether people can use it as a cessation tool or not. For Danny Noreen, e-cigs are his job. He's seen countless people's lives changed with e-cigs. His main concern is by taking away safe spots to use e-cigs, people could be in danger. If people were not allowed to uh, have that access of going to places where they can do that, um, I really think that that could be really det detrimental overall. Regardless of the health department's decision, Carlton will continue using his e-cig. If e-cigs were banned next week, I probably wouldn't change my use very much. As for using it indoors, Carlton could see a change there in the future. In Chapel Hill, I'm Gage Tillotson reporting. He's up there. Where is he at? On top of the